time for another question. Can you come back next yes, time? Yes, I can. Yes. You're a long way from home. Chris is from Idaho. Right. What yes. town again? Ketchum, Idaho. Ketchum, Idaho. And, uh, <laughs> now, all of you, you're not all from Idaho, are you? <laughs> all all you yayers? But they're all moving to Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be able to return next time? I think I can make it. Okay, yeah. Linda Say. And will you be able to return next time? I'm staying over. Okay. How was it on your first outing? Have you ever done one of these before? No, I haven't. Was it interesting? It was fun. Was it amusing? Very. Good. Do your Maggie Smith imitation, too. <laughs> I must tell you, Tootie, we got a postcard from a lady who said, I love your program, or uh, I don't know what she said, but she signed it, Maggie Smith. It was the lady who was on our show, a contestant named Maggie Smith, who oh. wrote to me and you. Oh. But and he I th thought it was the actress. I thought it was the real Maggie Smith, and I said, call her and see if she can book her on the show. And she said, I never heard of that show. Say goodbye. <laughs> Say goodbye, Gene. Okay, Gene Ray will join us next time for Match Game 77. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 77, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. A more newlywed game on Bobtober is on the way with me, Bob Eubanks. Stay tuned. From Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game. And here are today's newlyweds. This couple became husband and wife 11 months ago, Kendra and Greg Robertson. Our next couple marched down the aisle 10 months ago, Carmen and Michael Roberts. This couple sliced their wedding cake nine months ago, Sylvia and Joe Talagan. And our final couple traded vows 23 months ago, Andrea and Corey Arbio. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. Hey, how are you? Yeah. You want to play some games? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to win a big old second honeymoon? Oh, yeah. Then we're going to ask the ladies to go off to our soundproof room. Would you please? And remember, gentlemen, in round one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So if you're ready, Here's our first question for five yeah. points since the girls are gone. Gentlemen, which TV show will your wife say her family would feel most at home on? Melrose Place, Jerry Springer, <laughs> Third Rock from the Sun, or When Animals Attack? <laughs> which TV show will your wife say her family would feel most at home on? Corey. Definitely Third Rock, Bob. Third Rock. Definitely, yes. Little. Yes, they're just too. Strange. Yeah. Yes. She's definitely. Michael. Uh, I'm gonna have to say when animals attack. When animals well, attack. Man, is it, <laughs> I, there's been some things going on. I'm not gonna get into it. But no, I don't want you to get into I'm it, but there's some weirdos in her family you're telling me. I didn't say it, but I said that. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I said it for you, is what you're saying. Okay, you said it. Yeah. Greg? I would say Jerry, Jerry Springer. Feel most at home on Jerry Springer. <laughs> Jerry Springer. <laughs> they fight a lot? They fight a lot. They, they never get along. No something's kidding. Always, something's always going on in our family. Wow. Joe? I'm going to have to say Jerry Springer as well, Bob. Really? There's always some type of brawling going on. Wow. Somebody's mad at somebody. I'm so sorry to hear that. Next question, gentlemen. What will your wife say was the first phrase out of your mouth the very first time you saw her completely naked? <laughs> first phrase out of your mouth, Michael. First time you saw her completely naked. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. How about you, Greg? Yeah, baby. Yeah, okay. Joe? It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Corey? Shaq. It's yeah, like... I knew that. Okay. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. Most of my wife's clothes look great on her, but I know I would look better than she does wearing her... Blank. <laughs> Greg, I hate to ask you this question. Her black sweatsuit. Her black sweatsuit. Okay, Joe? I'm going to have to say her red G string. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. 
You would look better than her in her red G-string. Yep. I don't think so, big guy. I'm sorry. Corey? Definitely her skirts, Bob. I have much better legs. Her what? Definitely her skirts. Her skirt. Okay. You have better legs than she does. Check them out. I don't want to see them. Michael? Uh, her earrings. Her earrings. <laughs> Real safe. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for your answer. We'll be right back now with the wives. <laughs> Ready to play? Four. 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 Say it again. Four. 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 Okay, welcome back, everybody. Gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. So, ladies, nice to have you back. Here's our first question. Tell me, which television show would you say your family would feel most at home on? Would that be Third Rock from the Sun, Melrose Place, When Animals Attack, or Jerry Springer? Sylvia, which TV show would your family feel most at home on? I'd have to say Melrose Place. Melrose Place. Yeah, there's a lot of drama always going really? on. Really? Yeah. A lot of fool around here, huh? Uh, it's not, well, kind of. But yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Joe said your family would feel very comfortable on Jerry Springer. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah. There's drama, but you guys be Yeah, but they don't, yeah, we don't yeah. fight. No. I'm Kendra. This is easy. It's an easy one, this isn't is it? This is an easy what one. What is it? Jerry Springer. He said this is easy. It's Jerry Springer. <laughs> Why do you say that? I say that because my mom, my sisters, 
our family members. Yeah. We have good family relations, but they all are kind of violent. They watch just to fight. They're you know, violent. They, they're violent. They oh, okay. love that. Carmen, which TV show? It would have to be Melrose Place. Melrose Place. A lot of drama in my family. Okay. Everybody's said, bickering. Your family would be very comfortable on when animals attack. <laughs> when animals attack? <laughs> what kind of answer is that? Yeah. My family, not your family. No, no, no. He said your family are a bunch of animals. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. That is mean. Yeah. You are Whatever. Yeah. Andrea. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. He said yeah. your family would feel very comfortable on Third Rock from the Sun. They're a little bit off bubble. It's your mom. It's your mom. My mom your is mom not is like me. out of this world, man. We fight all the time. We fight all the time. What's the matter with her mom? She spazzes. Oh. See, if you she, get invited she worries about the, the, the least. The, no, the dumbest thing, the dumbest thing. Wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry. Good luck at sorry. Christmas dinner this year. <laughs> yeah, his birthday's coming up. Next too. question, <laughs> ladies, what would you say was the first phrase, the first phrase out of your husband's mouth, the very first time he saw you completely naked? First phrase, Kendra, out of his mouth, when he saw you completely naked. Wow. That's it? Yeah. Wow. He said the first phrase was, was, yeah, yeah baby. baby. Uh uh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, first phrase out of his mouth, first time he saw you completely naked. Mm. That's it? Yum. Um, yum. Mm -hmm. All right. What was the first phrase when you saw him naked? Woo. Woo. <laughs> you guys don't talk much, do you? Yeah. Michael said the first phrase was, uh, yeah, baby. You know, yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Andrea? Let's shag, baby. Let's shag, baby. He predicted you would say, uh, shag. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh Sylvia. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. He said the first phrase out of his, woo, it's all good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The deep voice. It's I, all I know. good. It's all yeah, good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, ladies. How would your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking now. Most of my wife's clothes look great on her, but I know that I would look better than she does wearing her blank. Carmen. Hurry, please. Shoes. Shoes. He said, wearing your earrings. We can go kind of. Earrings? Know, I'm yeah, gonna wear earrings. Clothes, so. <laughs> what are you, a pirate now? What? <laughs> Andrea, he said he'd look better than you wearing your what? Oh, my shirts? Shirts. You know what he said? He said wearing your skirts because he said his legs are better looking than yours. You have chicken look legs. That. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Look at that. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, no. Sylvia. My pajamas. Your pajamas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would think so. What does your husband do for a living? He's an athletic trainer. Really? Huh. Because you know what he said? He said that he would look better in your red G string than you do. <laughs> And we took a vote, and we disagreed. <laughs> Kendra. I'm going to have to say um, earrings, because I look good in everything that I All have. All right. He said that he, uh, he's, no. Card for me, please. He said he looks much better in your black sweatsuit than you do. I don't think so. Well, I don't either. But we'll be back with the wives so. to see how well they predict what their husbands will say right after these messages.
I'm Bob Eubanks, and you're watching the Newlywed Game on Buzzer TV. Let's play. Hey, welcome back, everybody. All right, ladies, now your husbands are all secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, each of these questions will now be worth 10 points. The ladies, you're better. They get the big questions. So here's your first one. Ladies, what's the one part of your body your husband will say looks nothing like a Barbie doll? One part of your body, uh, Carmen, that your husband will say looks nothing like a Barbie doll. My tummy. Your tummy. Oh, it's okay. It jiggles more than it should. Well, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Doggone it. Well, Nobody's perfect. No, you're close, so. Thank you, Bob. That's okay. Kendra? I'd have to go with the abs also. They're That's nice. the same as your tummy, right? Yes. Yeah, I figured Tommy that. Tummy abs, yeah. Tummy and abs, you can tell those who work out. Yeah, some yeah. have more than others. Some have tummy and abs. No kidding. So, yeah, exactly. Gosh, something I learn every day. Yeah. Sylvia? I'd have to say my legs. They're Your legs? Not, yeah, they're not very They're not shapely. like Barbie dolls. No, they're no. not shaped. Right. They're kind of just there. Andrea? Um, my stomach. Stomach? Yeah, I, I wish I could get rid of a little bit. Okay, next question, ladies. What surface will your husband say was the most unusual surface on which he personally has ever made love? What surface on which he personally has ever made love? Kendra? You first, Bob, huh? Yeah, um, first. Let's see. I'd say a patio. Patio oh. surface. So patio surface. Yeah, patio <laughs> surface. We were in Nashville at a family reunion and uh, de decided to um, go different. Go patio. <laughs> The old patio surface. Right. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. Sylvia. The sand. It was the sand. The yep. Right there on the old beach. Yep. Victory at sea. That's Good right. Him. <laughs> Andrea. Carpet, because of the rug burns. Carpet. <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> Carmen. Woo. Uh, I would have to say sand also at the beach. Sand, yes. all right. Was he too cheap to get a room? What was he doing? No, he wanted to be romantic and have uh, the stars and the sand You end up with sand wind. in your pants, right? Uh, Bob. <laughs> Is that awful, though? Yeah. Next yeah. question. <laughs> Ladies, how will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. My husband lucked out when he found me because I'm sure I'm the only woman on earth who would put up with his what? Sylvia? Rubbing the blanket. It's so annoying. He what? Yeah, he, the blankets, you know how they have that satin trim? Yeah. And he has this habit of just rubbing it at night, and you're trying to sleep, and you hear it. <laughs> Andrea. His temper. Puts up with his temper. He gets oh, mad? he gets mad at everything. The big baby. Everything. Huh. He gets angry at. Sorry. Yeah. Carmen. His flatulence. <laughs> I have to say his flatulence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we heard you the first time. <laughs> yeah, let's try Kendra. I would have to say the snoring. Greg, he snores? Oh, does he snore? That's what I asked. Does he snore? Does he snore? Say, I swear. Haven't you heard it? <laughs> no, I, I thought haven't. everyone could hear it. He can bring down a house. He can drown out a TV. He can, can drown out a storm. Nope. He can snore. Is I think this is years and years yeah. and years of practicing. Yeah. He yeah. can definitely snore. What was your answer? Snoring. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> Ladies, what will your husband say? This is our 25-point bonus question. What will your husband say he, he usually puts on last? His belt, his shoes, or his tie? Andrea? Um, puts on last. His shoes. His shoes. Carmen? Shoes. Shoes. Kendra? Tie. Tie. Sylvia? Shoes. Shoes. Ladies, thank you very much. We'll be back with the husbands and compare answers on the new game. Right after these messages.
have scored, two of our couples have not scored, but there's lots of time to catch up because, gentlemen, we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these are the 10-point questions. Here's the first one. Gentlemen, what's the one part of your wife's body that you would say looks nothing like Barbie doll? Looks nothing like a Barbie doll. Greg, what part of her body? I would say her stomach. Stomach! Her stomach. She said it's her abs. Yeah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> hey, Greg, she got a little... Uh, Pouch there, a little pooch? Uh, she Don't got, talk too much. She now. got more than a little pooch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Michael? Uh, I'm gonna have to say her stomach, Bob. Her stomach it's, doesn't look anything like Barbie dolls. All right. Like Your wife predicted you would say it would be her tummy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> what do you think, Corey? Definitely her stomach, Bob. Her stomach. Definitely. All right. She said it's her stomach. Yeah. Yes. Bob, I'm a, when I first met her, she had a great set of legs, but once we got married, downhill, so it's her legs. I don't have to say with her legs. Her, her leg? Are you complaining? Maybe a little bit. I see. All right. Your wife predicted you would say it's her legs. Yeah. yeah. All right, next question here, gentlemen. Tell me, what surface would you say was the most unusual surface on which you personally have ever made love? Michael, most unusual. Surface that you personally have ever made love? Uh, our leather back seat. Leather, then? <laughs> yeah. All right. She predicted you would say sand. Sand. At the mm. beach. That's not unusual. Everybody does it at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Corey. Definitely on the beach with my surfboard, Bob. So, what surface was that? On the sand. On sand. The All right. Your wife predicted you would say, no. Carpet, carpet. Because the rug burns. Yeah. <laughs> rug burns? We never did it on the board. A Andrea, do you remember the sand? I wasn't there. Oh, you what? weren't there. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, well, we're not going to the uh, beach. Gosh, Corey, we, we, we have time. Why don't you tell us who that was with? Yes, why don't we? You know. You can go to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to... No, I, I would like to... No comment. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? Well, Sylvia, she's real conservative, and, and she don't like to do it, like, in... Crazy. Oh, this is you personally, I man. know, but, okay, I'm going to have to say the sand. Sand, all right. Yeah. Your wife predicted you would say it would be the sand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Mr. Romance. What do you think, Greg? I'm gonna say sand too. Sand. Sand. Really? Really. You were down on the beach? No, I'm sand. I was in the in the uh, tent. We usually go camping. Oh, you're in the tent. And, and the sand always gets in the tent. So. No kidding. Sand. Oh, your answer is what? It's no, she said it was out on the patio. Patio surface in Nashville. Stop lying. It was no sand. It was dirt and that's spiders. That's not... cement. That ain't patio it surface. It is patio surface. That's cement, though. But it's okay. It's better than sand. That didn't even happen. That didn't even happen. Next question, gentlemen. How would your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. My husband lucked out when he found me. When, when he found me because I'm sure I'm the only woman on earth who would put up with his what? You lucked out when you found her because she's the only woman on, the, on earth, Corey, that would put up with your what? Definitely, probably my temper, Bob. Temper, temper. all right. She temper. said, it is your temper. Yeah. Hey. 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 You're still Wait, hey, Joe, she's the only woman on earth that would put up with your... Oh, God, I would have to say probably my self-esteem, because it was low at one time. And Self-esteem, all right. It. She said that she's the only woman on earth that would put up with your rubbing the blanket. <laughs> hey, Greg, she's the only woman on earth that would put up with your what? Uh, I'm going to say not cleaning up behind myself. All right. She predicted you would say she puts up with what your you snoring. Do? What do you do every day while you're awake, when you're asleep, at the movie theater, <laughs> watching TV, eating dinner, driving here, snore, snore, snore? At least you've never heard it, have you? Never heard a no. sound. Michael, she's the only woman on earth to put up with your what? I'm going to have to say photography. Photography? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what she said. <laughs> no, you tell it. You tell him what you said. Flatulence. 
Oh, why you gotta bring that up? Wait a She wakes me up with hers. Yeah. She wakes me up with wake up. I'm, I'm sleeping. Whatever, we're talking about you right yes. now. I'm sleeping out here. I don't want to hear this anymore. We'll be back with our 25-point bonus question. First of all, let's hear where our winning couple is going to go on their second honeymoon. Kramer. You're going to Hawaii. The Double Tree Hotel, conveniently located near Waikiki Beach. A luxurious room with balcony for a magnificent view of the tropical island of enchantment. The Double Tree Atlanta Waikiki Hotel. Have a wonderful second honeymoon. There you go, Bob. All right, thank you, John. Somebody's going to Hawaii. 25 point bonus question. Gentlemen, what would you say you usually put on last? Your tie, your belt, or your shoes? Couple three with 10 points. Michael and Carmen, get it right, and you'll have 35. You'll be in first place. Michael? What do you put on last? Tie, belt, or shoes? Hurry, please. Shoes. Shoes. She said, last you put on your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Couple number two, Greg and Kendra. You have 15, 25. We give you 40. Take over the lead with the correct answer. Greg. Tie. Tie. She said tie. <laughs> Couple number one, Joe and Sylvia with 20, 25. Gives you 45. Joe, what do you say? Tie. Tie. She said shoes. Couple number four, Corey and Andre. You have 25, 25. We give you 50. Get it right, and you're going to Hawaii. My shoes? Shoes! <laughs> he said shoes! Glory and Andrea, you're our new Newark Game Grand Prize winners! Thanks to our couples and thanks to you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. See you next time. Bye bye. Since they said I do, have you ever wondered